can I just tell you that I think that MacBook is of the devil? I'm so tired of it. Like, I cannot figure out how to do anything. I'm so over it. It's like, why? Like, I am not an idiot, okay? Like, I joke on here about not being real technological. Oh, by the way, hey, how are you doing? It has been some morning already, okay? I was like, got up today and I had clients and they canceled. So I was like, okay, I have a whole day to make videos and to get all this stuff done. And if you don't know, last week I was partnered on You Now. So I'm gonna start doing You Now every Monday and every Thursday. And um, I was real excited about it. And so I was trying to like set it up so I can live stream through um, YouTube. So it was like, I'm like, okay, it's very simple when you go in there. It's like down embed, download this embed code. I did that activated it, did this. I mean, I literally was ready to throw this computer across the room. I was so frustrated. And then, like, I'm so used to, like, this is so old school, you guys, but, like, I don't know where my mind works, but I'm so used to using a mouse, like, when I, so that, like, the Mac is very confusing to me. I'm actually going to Best Buy today to buy a mouse and to buy, um, case because I need a case for it and then my um, publisher said that I needed to get word because it would be easier for me so I'm going to do that today but like I'm so frustrated with the computer like and I know it's just me getting used to this computer I understand that right and I know like in you know a month or so from using it every day I'll be like so much more like adept at using it but like I'm not like when I, before opening it, I was kind of scared because I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. And, um, like my mom used to be very, very scared of technology. So I'm trying not to be like that. But like, I'm sitting there and I'm like so frustrated. I'm like, I am not an idiot. I have read these directions on YouTube on like how to do the embed codes. So you can live stream. There are 13 year olds that live stream on YouTube. And for some reason, this is not working for me. Like nothing is working for me. I was so frustrated. I was like, oh, this is why I like books. <laughs> books are easy. You open them, you read. I mean like, I'm so frustrated. So anyway. I went, and I finally, like, was like, okay, I gotta get out of here. I forgot my list. Damn it. But I went and got coffee. That's on my list. And, uh... Called and spoke to my sponsor for a little bit. And... They're always doing construction. I feel like everywhere I go, they're doing construction in Indiana. And, uh... are like this is so boring today i am so boring today i have so many things like i want to do and like i want to go to the library and i want to go to half price books like i feel like there's so many things i need to do this is like where okay like i like love doing youtube so much i love making videos i love coming up with ideas but what i don't necessarily love is like the technological stuff that i get very confused by um, it just doesn't make any, I'm just <sighs> very confused by all of it. So, yep, that's me, confusion, <laughs> that's my, do you remember those things, at, what were those called back in the day, the schoolhouse rock things? I used to love those so much. These houses that are over here are like set way back in the woods, like off the street. They're so pretty. I love them. I love just driving around and looking at houses. It is like almost 60 degrees in Indianapolis, rainy today. I, I truly do not think, like, this is the weirdest winter we have ever had. Like, I mean weird. Like, it's really, like, the nights, some of them are cold, but like the days are really not that cold. Like, I really do not think that we are gonna have that bad of winter anymore. My car guy, my car guy, Mark, if you live in Indianapolis and you're friends with me, then you know who I'm talking about. My car guy, Mark, um, that's so funny. If you saw him, he doesn't look.
looked like a car guy, Mark. But anyway, um, I have to take my car, my brake, my car in to get my brakes fixed, and I'm wanting to do it tomorrow. And I'm trying to get a hold of him, and I texted him, and he was in Cozumel. And then I called him today because he's back, and he's like, "I'm with a client right now. Can I call you back in like 10 minutes?" I'm like, "Yeah," and uh, it's been like 30. <laughs> The whole world is busy, damn it! Don't you know Peter has things to do? Don't you know Peter's YouTube famous now? Come on, folks, get with the program. I was reading the comments. Okay, so I went back, like, okay, you got to watch that vlog where I was talking about that gay couple the other night. I can't. Like, I feel like I'm such a, like, sometimes, like, I feel like if I was totally unedited on my videos, like, I sit there and talk about how real I am, and I am real except for that I edit out, like, the mean thoughts that go through my head, okay? But, like, if I was truly honest with how I feel, and somebody commented on there, and they're like, they said on my video, they said something about, like, but we like the, fl like, sometimes we like the fluffy, ha-ha, fun kind of stuff. Like, that's not what I'm talking about, okay? Like, listen, I all day long appreciate youtubers that are beautiful and physically and internally and you know like hi how are you and this is my game I mean lo I, listen I love Joy Graceffa okay so he kind of fits in that category and Gigi gorgeous and all that kind of stuff and but w what I don't appreciate is when I feel like it's disingenuous, like I feel like it's an act, right? Like you've been together two months and you love each other so much. Like seriously, like you've known each other for two months, you met on Grindr, okay? Like let's just be for real for a second here. <laughs> My husband and I met on Facebook. I'm just saying, all right? And I loved him after a week, so I'm a total hypocrite saying that. But like I watched this video and I'm like, and, and like, okay, so what was interesting was, the one guy's vlogging. I should just talk, say who they are because I'm totally falling in love with them now and their names are dude dudes, okay? And like, I keep on acting like I don't know who they are, but like, I don't know, like, like it's sad to me because the one guy that's like bigger, you can tell that like he really, I think his name is Zach. You can tell like he really wants a YouTube channel and their YouTube channel's growing. Like it's doing very, very well. But Jacob, the boyfriend, like, he doesn't seem like he wants to be on video as much. Or maybe he does, but I don't know. But, like, they need to call me up because I could tell them how to, like, get the gig. They could have 100,000 subscribers tomorrow. But, like, just taking your shirt off and being hot is not does not a YouTube channel make. I'm sorry, okay? It just doesn't. And, like, you can tell that, like, they're a little nervous when the camera's on. Which, for me, like, as, so, ha, as much social anxiety as I have, I don't understand that, okay? Like, I don't understand having that kind of social anxiety. Um, because, like, I don't even really feel like I'm just talking to my people, you know? And, um... Uh, they are super, and I said this in the video the other day, I'm not just covering my ass, they are like super nice guys, and they're both of them very good looking, but like, it's like when you watch it, it feels very contrived, except that I watched this vlog the other day, and Zach is making his birthday cake for Jacob, because it's his birthday on the 8th, right? It was the sweetest video, and... Um, I was like, yes, like, this is what you guys need to be doing, like, right here. Like, yes, this, right here, this vlogging, this is what you need to be doing, okay? Because even, like, when he comes in the door, I, kn I knew it, I knew this car was gonna be, like, sitting there slow, slow, then I'm, boom, they have to go through. But, okay, so, like, when Jacob comes through the door and he's just been off from work, like, this is so my husband, right? Like, you can tell, like, at first, he's kind of like, why are you filming me? When Zach has been, like, super excited all day long to, like, show it. Or, like, show him, like, the birthday cake. and the He made a homemade strawberry birthday cake, okay? I mean, it was so sweet. My husband would never. So, anyway, he'd be like, I don't cook. But, um... I'm sitting there watching it, and I'm like, yes, like, this is what you guys need to do. Like, this is, this is the ticket right here. You guys are adorable. And so Jacob comes in the door, and you can totally tell he's caught off guard, and he's like, uh, what's going on here? And he's like, yeah, it's not my birthday, but, and he almost kind of seems a little disinterested at first, and then you can kind of tell, like, he gets how excited Zach was, and so he gets excited, too, and it's very sweet. And he's like, oh. But, like, okay, so 
Dudes, dudes, I know you could give a rat's ass who I am, but listen, I have four channels. I'm figuring something out, okay? And if you don't know what you don't know, then you don't know that I'm YouTube famous now. You need to listen to me, okay? You need to quit out this. Stop doing these shirtless uh, gay couple videos, which are very cute, and you guys both have very nice bodies, okay? But you need a daily vlog because it's interesting. People want to see your lives, and that's super interesting. So that's my vote, okay? because you won me back with the daily vlog. And you can tell that Zach is the one that wants to really be doing it. It's like, I mean, I think they both want to do it, but you can really tell that like Zach is the one that like is really intrigued by this whole YouTube thing. And uh, I think that's his name. I'm sorry if I'm getting your name wrong. There's so many Zachs on the internet right now. Then there's Zach from Zach and Evan. I love them. I watch all their videos. And then Zach Garcia at the Ventures of Zach and B. He's a good friend of mine and you know I adore him. Too many gay Zachs. I'm changing my name to Zach. If I change my name to Zach and I call this Zach Peter Mon, maybe like my channel, Zach Vlogs, maybe my channel will blow up like the rest of them. So dude, dudes, you guys reach out to me, okay? Because I want to do a collab with you guys and I go to Denver a lot. <laughs> They're like, who? We have no idea who you are. These younger gay YouTubers have no idea who I am, okay? Like listen, right here, okay? Peter is dad, okay? I'm like the gay dad to all you younger gay guys. So you just need to get over it and you just need to accept the fact, okay, that there's one gay dad on YouTube and it's me. <laughs> so I just left the library. There's all these little kids running outside. It's so cute with their books. I totally remember going to the library with my mom after school when I was younger. And she'd be like, now you can take home as many books as you want, but you have to remember that you have to read, and <laughs> try to read all the books that you're gonna get. And I was always so excited um, to get home and read all these books. I have like been intermittently watching like all of these like gay YouTubers today. And like, so I was talking about dude dudes. I've like now watched every single one of their videos. I'm completely like addicted to those guys. And then I am watching Wiley Phoenix, which is like Wiley and Tyler. And like, I don't know how I never had heard of them before. They have like almost 60,000 subscribers and they are this adorable couple. And I'm tweeting him out and I was like, uh, I think you, you guys need me to be your gay dad. <laughs> But their content is so fun, and they're just like a really neat couple. I love them. They're like actually like a couple that Alex and I would really be friends with. Um, and then I went to the library, and I was gonna do, and then I went to Half Price Books, and then I talked to my car guy to take my brakes in and get my oil changed. I'm gonna do that on Wednesday. I'm super excited about that. I mean, he'll let me film him. So anyway. Yeah, it's a really exciting day here in Indianapolis. It's actually a degree warmer than it was. It's now 56 degrees. So, I'm getting like so much accomplished today. It's crazy. I have to go to Best Buy because I want to get um, a computer case because it doesn't really matter if my computer works. I just really want a pretty case. <laughs> I was talking to my husband on the phone. He was like, you know the Apple store has like classes. I go, well yeah, I don't really need that. Like, I just really need somebody to sit down and explain to me what I'm doing wrong. He goes, I know, but if you went and took the Apple class, I said, yeah, I don't really want to take an Apple class and spend an entire afternoon. He goes, it's an hour. I go, I understand that. He goes, well, why won't you just go do it? I'm like, I hate admitting that I'm an idiot, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I probably should just take the stupid Apple class, shouldn't I? I'd be so embarrassed to go in there with my computer and be like, I don't know how to work this computer. I'm here for the class. It'd be me and like all these 80 year old women, which I have no offense to 80 year old women, but my mother, true story, they had free classes at the library, computer classes, and she failed email three times. I mean, true story. Like they even told her not to come back. They're like, you're not gonna get this. And she, this is what she would say to me. She like, this is back in the day when we had discs. And she would say, um, by the way, if you want to see, uh, if any of you read or saw the movie The Fault in Our Stars, um, we are about to pass the high school where Augusta, Augustine? Is that, what's his name? Why can't I think of his damn name now? Oh my God, I love that book so much. Augustus Waters, where he uh, went to school. 
North Central High School, Panthers, right here. I'm gonna show you. I actually did a video on my booktube channel where I went and I showed all of the actual, here it is. This is where Augustus Waters went to high school in Indianapolis. True story, John Green wrote it into the book. North Central High School, see? But um, I did a booktube video where I went around and I showed all of the, uh, ah! places in Indianapolis that he had put in the book. That was really actually a fun video to do. I did that for a booktube -a um, which is a readathon where there's, and it, it doesn't matter. Anyway, so my mom would say to me, like she, she had this disc, and she'd be like, all you need to do is insert it to your computer and then upload um, the email. And I was like, your email's not on the, yes it is, he told me it was, it's on this disc. I go, no mom, I go, your email's not on the disc. Well, why would he tell me it was on the disc if it's not on the disc? I go, I don't think you understood what he was telling you. Yeah, I understood what he was telling me. My email is on the disc. I go, no, Mom, your email is not on the disc. She's like, well, I'd be like, when's your next class? Oh, you know. They asked me, they, they thought it would be best if I didn't come back. I wasn't really understanding the concepts. <laughs> That's what she said. I go, so they failed you. She goes, no, I mean, it wasn't really. She goes, they just said I wasn't understanding the concepts. <laughs> the concepts of email. My mother, I like so legit sat down and tried to explain to her the internet. I was like, okay, it's like, she's like, but what's the World Wide Web? And I was like, that's WWW. And I was like, okay, so like, it's really like, if there were really a world, like if you had a mailbox on a street, like this is your email address, right? Like if you, as if you had a mailbox and she's like, I don't understand. I go, mom, what don't you understand? Like I am, like I love my mother so much, but let me just tell you, I say this to my cousin all the time. I am like really grateful that she's not here for Facebook. She would totally want a Facebook to connect with everybody in the world that she, I don't know. And then she would be like, I don't understand how to write on the wall. Like, she would just, she wouldn't understand it. And my mother was like, highly, highly intellectual, okay? Like, when it came to like, philosophy and, you know, books and things like that. But like, to technological concepts she didn't get. Now, my father is a surgeon, and I can't understand how to run this Mac. Where do you think I get my technological uh, <laughs> education from? Obviously not my father, who can like... He's had a Mac for like 10 years. He's always got the brand new phone. I mean, that is totally my dad. God, I'm so jealous. If I called my dad and I said, I don't understand this computer, he would be like, what don't you understand, Peter? He was like, are you an He would say, are you an idiot? Like, what don't you understand? The Mac is the most user-friendly computer in the world. He's actually said that to me before. Actually, a lot of you said that to me in the comment sections, and a lot of other people have said it to me as well. This is such a rambling video today. This is probably gonna be an hour long. I don't care. <laughs> Get over it. <laughs> Hey you guys, so I'm daily vlogging, obviously, but I'm on uh, you now, right now, so I'm gonna say hi to all of these people, so, <laughs> I can't, I ain't, you ready? Let's say, Ashley, Cassandra, Froddy, Carrie, oh, here, they'll come watch. Uh, Marianne, loves to draw, Carrie, Emilio, my nerdy life, oh, I know my nerdy life. Um, Michelle, Kendra, Jade, that one gal, Becky, James, hey James, that one gal, Catherine, Rosie Toes, Leslie, oh my God, Tony, hey Tony, hey James, hey Chloe, hey Tammy, Tam there's Tammy. Hey, oh, there's another Tammy. Hey, Tammy. Tracy, that's Tracy. Sorry, hey, Tracy. Hey, oh, my God, hey, Jim and Michelle, how are you? Um, I loved your little podcast thing that you did with, uh, why am I vlogging all this? This is crazy. Okay, bye. For those of you that love car vlogs, this, like, whole thing is, like, a car vlog today. <clears throat> I just haven't, oh, well, that's not true. I did the you now. So the you now thing was not a car vlog. So yeah, that was really fun. I love the you now. I'm having so much fun on there. Uh, Peter, if you just lost weight, then you wouldn't have to worry about the chins. Anyway, it is like 57 degrees outside. It's raining. It feels like spring. It does not feel like winter at all. This has been the weirdest winter. We haven't had any, like hardly any snow. And every time I say that to somebody, they're like, well, what about that like uh, blizzard, that ice storm that you were stuck in? I'm like, okay, that was like the first week of December or maybe even November. And it was like one ice storm one night <laughs> and it started at 10 and it ended at like five. And that was like it. Like that's the only winter weather we've had. <clears throat> it's been cold some days, but like nothing like 
I don't know, it really makes you think about climate change and all that kind of stuff because um, and global warming. I mean, Indiana winters are treacherous. Like, they are vicious cold, snow, ice. And this year just isn't like this at all. So, yeah. If people are interested why I haven't been posting on my so-called healthy life, I have lost, continue to lose weight. I've lost eight pounds. Yay! Um, but I have, like, I needed to, sort of like, relax a little bit. And, like, I haven't posted on my, um booktube channel either. I'm going to tomorrow, which will be the day that, today that you're watching this. Um, and maybe like more than one video for each, but I just needed to like relax a little bit and I'm spending so much time on videos right now and I absolutely love this. I, w I mean, I wish that I could make YouTube my full time gig where I was just living off of my YouTube money, which God... Some of these YouTubers out there that are like, you know, 18 and start a channel and then like a year later they're making two and three million dollars a year. I wish, I hope they know how truly blessed they are. Um, and I don't even think it's so much like just having that much money to spend on, I think what it is is freedom. You know, financial freedom to not have to worry about things and be able to travel or pay your bills or make your house payment or just have a roof over your head and food on your table. Like, uh, I mean, I think that platforms like YouTube and things like that are awesome because they offer that to people. It's like, I wish I had started this a long time ago. Like, I wish I had, I don't know, I, I, I'm a big believer in timing. So I'm a big believer that like things happen when they're supposed to happen. And I know that sounds crazy and a lot of people don't believe that kind of stuff. But like, I think had I done it like five years ago, I don't think that what my channel looks like today is what it would have looked like. I don't know if that makes sense, but like, I just don't think that it would have looked the same. So I think my channels and my direction and what I've done with all of my videos would be completely different than it is today. If that makes sense. So I am a believer that things happen the way that they're supposed to be happening. And it's really interesting. I, um, I wasn't going to address this on here, but because I said I was not a BS artist, I'm going to address it. I'm starting to get some like negative comments on this vlog and it's interesting because I never typically got negative comments on this vlog. Like I always got positive comments on here, like just glowing positive comments, which I thought was awesome, right? And then I like got a couple comments about my addiction stuff, which like they were so harsh, honestly, that like I immediately deleted. Like, they were almost kind of like, well, you deserve this because of that. And I'm like, how do you, like, why would you ever speak to somebody like that? Like, I think people have lost their minds a little bit in how they speak to people. It's like, you know, it's not correct to speak to people that way. I don't know how you were raised or what. I mean, I don't, for me, honestly, like, when people are full of hate or full of anger and they like put that on somebody else, it's really more telling of them than it is of me. So like, I don't own that, but at the same time, like I don't have to read it. Like, you know, I mean like I read like a line of it and I just like block them. I just don't, I don't have to read, it's my channel. And you know, like I leave a lot of like cr critical comments up there or things like that. But then this other person left this comment and like the first sentence was like, I mean, he, just li listen to this, okay? And I ran this by somebody else first and said, like, okay, like, if I say to you, don't be mad at me, but, you know, you, you know you're an ugly, nasty person. Like, what? Like, I can be mad at you if I want. Don't tell me how to feel. Like, you know, like, Tanya, my friend Tanya always says that to me. When people preempt you with something, don't tell me. How, I'll feel how I want. I'll respond how I want. That's, like, how life works, okay? So, if, like, you say to me some nasty thing and then you go, oh, I'm just joking. Well, it still felt the same way that it did, whether you're joking or not. I hate that. When people say something and then at the end of it they go, oh, I'm just joking. I didn't mean all those nasty things I said about you. Well, you probably kind of did a little bit, right? So, I got this comment tonight on my vlog. Okay, I have talked extensively about the fact that my husband does not want to be on these vlogs. Okay, he just doesn't. And um, I totally respect that. And there was a time that Alex 
probably would have wanted to be on here. He's a different person today. He's grown up. This isn't his thing. He has absolutely no interest in YouTube whatsoever. Like, you know, we were talking tonight and I was talking about some people. He was like, Peter, I just, he was like, honey, I just don't know who these people are that you're talking about. He was like, so it doesn't mean anything to me. And he was like, for you, you like watch them and it's like you have real relationships with these people because you watch them, which I do. And if you're somebody that loves YouTube, then you know what I'm talking about. But he's like, but for me, you know, he's like, I just, I don't like, I don't understand that. So, and like, he has, he's like, you show as much of your life as you want. I don't really care. And he was like, and there are going to be days that like when he comes home, like if I'm like going to turn on the camera, I always say, do you care if I vlog? And he'll like a lot of times, like if he's in the, if he's in the vlog, he'll say, no, absolutely not. And, or he'll say, yeah let's vlog or he'll like a couple times he's been like with the question and answer video he was like he was the one that asked me if I wanted to do that video and he was like do you want to do a video together today because he knows I like doing videos with him and um and not just to do a video with him but to have like documentation of us together and we have fun doing it when he wants to do it but it's like I mean, I think it's like with anything else in life, you know, if I said to him, you know, like, do you want to have a sit down dinner? Well, he's probably not going to want to have a sit down dinner seven nights a week. Okay. But like when he wants to, he'll really enjoy it if that makes sense. So I've, and I've talked about this on here a lot. Like, you know, there may be a point when he's like completely comfortable and says, just vlog all the time, babe. I don't really care. And, um, but today we're not there yet. <laughs> so this woman left me this comment. I think it was a woman. And she said, um, please don't see this as a hate comment. And, and listen, okay, if you're the person that left this comment and you don't want me talking about you in a video, I am sorry, but you left a comment in a public forum and I'm responding to that, okay? Because the comment did hurt my feelings. And I'll tell you why. It wasn't just a comment, you know, questioning Alex's being on the vlogs or any of that kind of stuff. This was the comment. It said, please don't take this as a hate comment, um, but it is so obvious to me that you love Alex, but he does not love you, and that he is just basically waiting for this older man to keel over so that he can, and it was long, okay? It was like a long uh, uh, comment, that he's just waiting for you to keel over so that he can um, get your inheritance. Well, first of all, I'm not really sure what inheritance um, there, this person is referring to, um, I don't know how they know my personal finances to assume that Alex is, you know, and getting some huge, uh, inheritance and financially as a couple, Alex does really well. <laughs> like Alex makes very good money. I mean, he owns his, you know, own business and I don't know that a lot of people know that. So like he's not hurting for money at all. Like he's not waiting for this one to drop. Okay. The other thing is you don't know anything about Alex's family. I'll just leave it there. Okay. Or what he is. I mean, he doesn't, Alex is not going to gain a lot from me dying tomorrow, except for hopefully maybe some heartache that his husband is no longer alive. But what a shitty comment to say to somebody, your husband doesn't love you. Basically he's just a gold digger and he's with you for the long run. I'm 44 years old. Okay. Unless some freak accident happens, I don't plan to go anywhere anytime soon. My father is 76, and he is still performing surgery on a daily basis, okay? So that's 32 more years minimum that if I live to be my dad's age, that I will be here. Um, so that's a long con. Do you know what a long con is? A long con is when you have to play something really long. Alex and I have been together for almost 10 years. So that's 40 years to inherit some money that at that point, Alex will be 70 himself. Don't you think he's earned that inheritance at that point? Like that is ridiculous. Like I don't even understand why you would leave that comment on somebody. Who are you that you're such a shitty person that you would leave that comment on somebody? Your husband doesn't love you. He can't be bothered with you. No, my husband can't stand vlogging. That's what it is, okay? He doesn't want to be on the videos. And the only reason that he's ever in a video is because if I ask him to and he wants to make me happy. It just baffles me the things that people can say. You can get behind your keyboard and you can make these random little comments and you think that's okay. It's not. You need to, like, when you know better, you do better. So I'm teaching you right now. There's nothing right about that, okay? Well, why, would, why would you think that that's okay to be hurtful like that? I just, I don't understand it. And then I have to say that I have been a little baffled by 
I'm like, do I even want to get into this? I just don't even. I'm just going to leave that one alone. It has nothing to do with viewers. Because you know what? I feel so blessed that like 90.9.9% .9 of my viewers, the woof pack, woof woof, that I snap you guys and tweet you and all that kind of stuff. Like, you guys, like, are so, so supportive of me. And I love you so much. I mean, like, you literally make my life. Like, I never thought that I would, like, I'm gonna do this video called Being YouTube Famous. And it's actually an interesting story. Well, I'm gonna tell it right here in a second, but I'm getting a Diet Coke right now because I'm thirsty as hell. But anyway, I've been a little miffed by some friends lately, let me just say, okay? And not any friends that you've seen in my vlogs. Um, not my good Judies. But just people that like, oh, we're really good friends, but then are we really good friends? Like, what happened? And then you ask them, and then they're like, oh no, nothing happened. But then you still don't, uh, it's, I don't have time for it. Welcome to McDonald's, we'll be with you in just a second. Just a friendly reminder, it's breakfast only. No burgers, no fries. Go ahead with yours. Uh, I just need a large Diet Coke. Large Diet Coke, down now. First one, though. I almost said it was going to be a dollar night. I knew that. Let me just tell you, this guy is in here every night. He is so nice. He is always so friendly. Dollar nine. What's, What's up, up there? How are you? I'm doing good. I don't need the penny back. You don't want the penny back? I don't need the penny back. Okay. Have a good one. He is so nice. Every third shift he works. It just cracks me up. I guess I kind of went on a little bit of a rant there. I don't know why. Take that as you want. People will be like, oh, you're awfully defensive about your husband. That must mean he doesn't love you. If somebody accuses you of your husband not really loving you but only being with you because of an inheritance, you should be offended. I'm sorry, but that's rude. And if that person doesn't want to follow me anymore or subscribe to my channel, then have at it. I'm not going to tolerate that. I think that's rude. I'm not one of those YouTubers that are willing to sit back and take all kinds of hate just at the expense of having viewers and subscribers. I'm the real deal right here. I'm sorry, but you know, and neither should you, you know, like, um, I'm just, I think you get to a certain age in life and like, God, I wish I had gotten there a lot earlier, you know? Like, I think I hit it like after my mom died. I think you have to have some major traumatic event happen in your life. And I think I hit it at like 38. Like my mom died when I was 36. I think it took me like two years, right? Where you just are intolerant of people's shit anymore. It's like, no, you're not gonna, I'm not a doormat, okay? I did not get as far as I got in life to be your doormat, okay? So hush, correct your behavior you need to behave better, okay? Didn't somebody, did you, were you not raised better? I don't understand that. Did you ever see that uh, movie? Here you go, bro. Thanks, have a good one. You too, bro. Did you ever see that movie, uh, Tumbleweeds, I think it was called, or something like that, about that woman, she won an Oscar for it. I think she either won an Oscar or she was nominated for it, where she, like, was at work. She and her daughter go on the run, then they end up in LA, I love it. They don't go on the run, but they leave. And she's like going through all these papers and her boss is like, well, what you need to do? And she goes, what I need to do? Well, what you need to do is, and she starts taking these papers and throwing them in the air. She's like, you need to sh file these papers. You need to shove these papers up your ass. It's like, amen. I am so tired of people telling me, well, what you need to do, what you need to do. I, listen, what I need to do is drink this diet, pe diet Pepsi, diet Coke and talk to my people on my camera. Don't worry about the rest of it. As my husband's uh, sitting in Ibiza. <laughs> the other thing to that that cracks me up is if Alex and I have 20 great years together and then as a result, I like keel over and have a heart attack and then he, it was all fake, but I had 20 wonderful years of that relationship and then he gets to go live off my inheritance, whatever that means, in Ibiza or something, let's say, where he's just at music festivals and living on the beach all day long, having sex with the most beautiful people in the world. How does that affect me? Like, it doesn't, right? Thank you for those wonderful 20 years that we had together. Like, it's just insanity. Like, where do you think this stuff up? 
And why am I letting people rent space in my head for free? I don't know. Like, I think the problem is, is that on my main channel, I'm so used to getting shit. My God, that Amy Slayton video, I swear to God, people are like, oh my God, like I wish, I sometimes wish I hadn't made that video, but it cracks me up. The comments that people put on there are just like surreal. It's crazy. Yeah. So I'm done rambling about that comment now. Do you think I went on long enough about that? You guys are like, God, you guys are so angry about that. I did. I think it's rude. I don't really care for rude people. I'm sorry. And I don't have a problem correcting people and saying, what? Like, no. You must not think very highly of me to think that it's okay to talk to me that way. That's what I say to people, okay? When people treat me inappropriately, remember this statement. If you don't learn one thing... Learn this very valuable lesson, okay? And I don't care if it's your mother. I don't care if it's your brother or sister. I don't care if it's your Aunt Josie. I don't care if it's your husband or wife. I don't care if it's your best friend, okay? If somebody treats you in a way that makes you feel undervalued or makes you feel like shit, look at them and say, you know what? You must not think very highly of me to think it's okay to teach to talk to me that way. Just remember that, okay? The next time that somebody says something to you that you're like kind of trembling and you're like, what? Like just, that hurts my feelings. Look at that person and say, you know what? Like you must not think very highly of me to think it's okay to talk to me that way. Because it's not. It's not okay to talk to me that way. I'm a human being. I have feelings and emotions. They are not facts. They are feelings and emotions. But I have a right to them. And my feelings and emotions get hurt. <laughs> I don't know what that was. I wear my sunglasses at night. If I want to drive safely, I don't. Anyway, other than that, I've had a wonderful day. I have like a half an hour left of Pecan Man by, I think her name is Cassie Selleck. It is so good. It is so good. Oh my God, it's so good. But I already have my next audiobook picked out. <laughs> um, I'm going to read Kill the Boy Band. I don't know why. By Goldie Madofsky. I have had, I have the book and I also have the audiobook. So I'm going to listen to it. It's a young adult book about a band like One Direction and they like kidnap the wrong band member or something. I don't know. It sounds real silly and foolish, but I, okay. So I'm like really excited about this Sean David Hutchinson book that just came out, but I want to listen to it on Audible because I listened to the first one on Audible and it doesn't come out on Audible until like the 15th, 15th. So I have to listen to something in between. And that Graham at Mega Man Chief Fan, so Graham is like one of my booktube little brothers. So if you guys don't watch my booktube channel, what you don't know is a lot, is that I have like all these booktube little brothers, okay? And they're like booktubers that I adore, but they're like younger than me. Like Philippe at the YA Reader, I love him so much. He's such a sweet kid. And Graham at Mega Man Chief Fan. Graham at Mega Man Chief Fan, that's his channel title, so go check him out, is like 16 years old, like I think just 16. And he is like legit, like one of the most well read people I have ever met in my entire life. Like, for his age, like, he can go through a book in one night, right? And like, he just, I mean, and it's so interesting because he reads so much, and his favorite book of all time is Catcher in the Rye. And I'm like, oh my God, I can't I mean, like, so we did this whole month where we read all of Salinger together. He read it all. I didn't keep up with it at all. I just, I fall so short of these like buddy reads. So anyway, he contacted me and he was like, hey, do you want to do another buddy reads together? Because we read, what did we read together? I can't remember what the last, um, The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian by Al uh, Alex, Alex, Alexa, Sher Alexi Sherman. Did you guys read that book? Oh, oh my God. That book was so good so good and but anyway he never reads YA so he was like do you want to read a book together and I was like yeah what do you want to read and he was like have you heard of the Knicks it came out last year and it was like I've wanted to read it for a while and I've wanted to read the Knicks okay like it's supposedly like fabulous well I downloaded it on an audible and it's 20 hours somebody sent me the spy tonight by <laughs> Kohello I was gonna look up how to pronounce that name because I butchered it the other day I cannot believe you sent that to me on Audible. I cannot believe. I did not know until last year that you can send gifts on Audible. And somebody sent me, um, God, what's that book? 
they're making it into a Steven Spielberg movie, and it was about the video games. Why can't I think of it? It was like my la It was like my favorite book of last year. Oh my god, I can't. But somebody sent it to me as a gift, and I didn't even know that you could do that on Audible, but that you can. And um, why can't I think of what that book is called? Hold on a second. Uh, somebody just commented on my gay video and said that Matthew Lush needs a gay dad. That is the truth of the nature. I would fix him up. He's a cute kid, but he needs to, like, really figure his stuff out because, like, I don't like his style. Like, he could be so good looking. Do you guys watch Matthew Lush? Couldn't he be so good looking if he got, like, brown hair, real short brown hair and took out all those... But listen, I like somebody that likes to look different, but... Um, how did I do this? Cloud... Oh, these are my unfinished ones. Hold on. All titles. Ready Player One. Ah! By Ernest Klein. Did you guys, have you guys read that book? If you have not read Ready Player One by Ernest Klein, go read it. It was my favorite book of last year. It was so good. So good. Uh, it was le like legitimately, I say this a lot, but it was like my number one best, like favorite book of last year. It was uh, phenomenal. And not, like, really a deep read, but just, like, a really great read. So, anyway, we're going to read the next, and the next is 20 hours long. <laughs> That's a lot of audio. That's a lot of driving around. <laughs> oh, my God. I have the most fantastic life. I really do. I eat incredible food every day. Let's see if there's any, rain any reindeer. I said any deer out here. There's not. Where are you guys? I like legit though. I have like the most amazing life. I have such wonderful friends. I have such a loving, adoring husband. He's so awesome. We just laid in bed together tonight in the dark with a fan on us and just talked for like an hour. It's like some of my favorite times with him. We're just laying there like talking and he was just like playing with my head and my hair. <laughs> that sounded dirty, didn't it? He was just like playing with my hair. And he was like, well, babe, I'm sorry. I was telling him about some stuff that bothered me. And um, it's just so nice to end our night like that, you know? PP was playing on the end of the bed. and So anyway, that was how I ended my night. And then I drove around. I'm listening to my audiobook now. And then I'm going to go home and go to bed. And I have the whole day off tomorrow. I'm so blessed. Like, I have such a wonderful life. It's a wonderful life. That's a really good way to end, anyway. Think about this to yourself, okay? What are your five number one bucket list things that you have to achieve in your life? And what are small bucket list things too? Like I had not until a couple years ago had blueberry and chocolate, blueberry pancakes or cho chocolate chip pancakes. And my friend Melissa told, took me to the original pancake house and she got me to have both of them. Oh my God, they were so good. And I've never had banana pancakes and I want banana pancakes. Maybe I'll go somewhere tomorrow and have banana pancakes even though I'm supposed to be on a diet. Because that sounds really good. I've never had banana pancakes. Have you ever had banana pancakes? Do they taste like banana bread? That would probably be pretty good, though. So, but my big bucket list things. Well, being YouTube famous, of course. Anyway, make the most of your life, because we're on borrowed time as it is. I love you guys. Bye.